Hello everyone, let's face it, software is buggy. And while automated tools that analyze source code to discover bugs have made tremendous progress in recent years, they are notorious for their poor accuracy, which stems from the inherent difficulty of the problem, as well as many practical factors such as the ever-increasing size and complexity of software, unanalyzable third-party libraries, unknown environment assumptions, and so on. This inaccuracy manifests in the form of false positives or false bugs and false negatives or missed bugs, both of which are highly undesirable to users of these program analyzers. We have developed a new AI-based system called Bingo that improves the effective accuracy of program analyzers through user interaction. The techniques underlying Bingo are applicable to a variety of different program analyzers that target bugs such as buffer overruns, memory leaks, and many others at compile time before the program is even run. Today, I will demonstrate Bingo on an analyzer that targets a particularly insidious class of concurrency bugs called data races. Let's see Bingo in action on the output of this analyzer on an open source Java program called Apache Lucene a high-performance text search engine comprising over 500,000 lines of source code. At the outset, the analyzer produces a set of 237 alarms, each corresponding to a different potential concurrency bug in the program. In this demo, I have provided the ground truth of each alarm, which was obtained by human inspection. However, such fully labeled ground truth is not available in practice because it is extremely laborious to obtain. Inspecting even a single alarm can take minutes to hours of a programmer's time, and most of the alarms are false anyway. In our example, only four of the 237 reported alarms are real bugs which are indicated by the ground truth value of true. The primary goal of Bingo is to minimize the programmer's effort in labeling alarms without missing any real bugs. A useful analogy might be to think of this problem as finding needles in a haystack. To solve this problem, Bingo outputs along with each alarm a confidence score that represents its belief that the alarm is a real bug as opposed to a false alarm. This confidence score is a real valued number between 0 and 1. The higher the score, the higher the belief that the alarm corresponds to a real bug. Bingo ranks the alarms in decreasing order of their confidence scores. Notice that the four true alarms are buried in the deluge of false alarms at ranks 55, 162, 169, and 171. This situation is analogous to recommendation systems such as Amazon, YouTube, or Netflix. Just as these systems do not have sufficient evidence to determine which products or videos a new user might like, Bingo lacks sufficient evidence to determine which alarms in a new program correspond to real bugs. In order to learn from evidence, similar to these ubiquitous recommendation systems, Bingo provides thumbs up and thumbs down buttons alongside each alarm for the programmer to indicate whether the alarm is a real bug or a false alarm respectively. In a typical interaction, the programmer inspects the top ranked alarm, indicates whether it is a real bug or a false alarm, and Bingo recomputes the new confidence scores of all alarms based on this evidence and ranks them based on the new scores. In this manner, Bingo maximizes the return on the effort by the programmer in inspecting each alarm, similar to other recommendation systems. In this case, the top-ranked alarm with a confidence score of 0.993 happens to be a false alarm, as indicated by its ground truth value of false. In the new ranking, notice that the previously top-ranked alarm is now ranked at the bottom with a confidence score 
of zero as expected. Also, since the only evidence provided so far was negative, the confidence scores of all alarms have dropped. But notice how the scores of false alarms have dropped even more than those of true alarms, which have now risen to ranks 2, 3, 4, and 5. The reason for this behavior is that alarms are correlated. For instance, an entire family of false alarms can have a common root cause. In the new ranking, the top-ranked alarm with a confidence score of 0.779 again happens to be a false alarm. The programmer communicates this ground truth and Bingo updates the ranking once again. In the new ranking, the confidence scores of all alarms have dropped even further since both the evidences provided so far were negative. But the four true alarms have now bubbled up to the top of the new ranking. While their confidence scores are relatively low, in the range 0.046 to 0.043, notice how the confidence scores of the false alarms are significantly lower, with the highest at 0.006. The programmer communicates the ground truth of the top ranked alarm, which in this case is a real bug. And Bingo updates the ranking once again. In the new ranking, the remaining true alarms rise to the top. And moreover, observe that Bingo's belief that these are real bugs has increased dramatically as well, from around 0.04 to around 0.94. In the subsequent three iterations, Bingo presents each of the remaining three true alarms to the user, who confirms that they are indeed real bugs. In summary, Bingo allowed the programmer to find all four real bugs in Apache Lucene by inspecting only six alarms for a false positive rate of just 33%. This is a significant improvement over requiring the programmer to inspect all 237 alarms for a false positive rate of 98%.